For years now, there has been a common comparison between Nintendo and Disney, many calling Nintendo the Disney of video games. This is because Nintendo has a cast of widely recognizable characters and quite draconic practices in how they protect their intellectual IP as well as having their own sort of Disney vault with the Nintendo vault. <laughs> And before, this was kind of said tongue-in-cheek, right? I mean, Nintendo wasn't a player in theme park or the film scene. They mainly stuck to the video game market. Well, things are beginning to change. The Super Mario Bros. movie, despite what critics say, has been immensely successful for Nintendo. So much so, that it's already looking to become the biggest opening of all time for an animated movie. This means bigger than Frozen, bigger than Moana, Bigger than every Disney animated film to date, at least in the box office. Mario was bigger than Frozen. That's insane to me, especially considering this is Nintendo's first foray into the animated film scene for the big screen. We may be actually seeing the beginnings of a quiet, subtle shift here. A slow but monumental shift in power. Nintendo has just opened a theme park in the US called Nintendo World, which is seeming to be quite popular. Reviews are buzzing and the people are enjoying the experience. And Nintendo's already planning out a Donkey Kong expansion to this theme park. I'm sure the big heads at Nintendo have much planned for this theme park over the course of the next few years. For example, a report from Fool says Nintendo has its sights on opening a theme park in Orlando next to Disney by 2025, which will inevitably impact Disney, as then, a choice will have to be made, Disney or Nintendo. Now I don't necessarily think Nintendo is going to overtake or drive out Disney anytime soon, but to be honest, I do think Nintendo has the properties to do it, they just need time. Sure, Disney owns Star Wars and Marvel, and they're massive here in the US. But Nintendo owns some juggernaut franchises themselves, Smash Brothers to rival the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Mario, Zelda, Xenoblade, heck maybe Metroid to rival the Star Wars franchise. All of these are massive names in their own right, and Nintendo making the concerted effort to escape the niche of gaming and break into the mainstream appeal, it will only be good for them. I find these times exciting, extremely exciting as a massive Nintendo fan. I'm going to be sitting back, watching with extreme interest as Nintendo attempts to do what is considered impossible by many, rival, if not one day, in the far future, unseat Disney's throne. Can they do it? Well, not anytime soon, but I'd say if anyone was going to give it a real attempt, it would be Nintendo. Nintendo has been in the video game business for 40 years, and they're still going strong. They currently have the most popular system on the market that sells the most games with the most interest. And they're looking within the next few years, maybe this year, maybe next year, maybe 2025, to launch a new console, and that's going to come with a plethora of new video games. Look, I don't know what's going to happen for sure, but I know one thing. I will be definitely watching the Nintendo stock portfolio with an eagle eye over the next couple of years, seeing if I need to finally invest. And speaking of investments, we're currently running a giveaway here at Nintendo Vault for a $70 eShop gift card. All you have to do, super simple, like the video, subscribe, and if you're subscribed to the channel, you have a shot at winning the gift card. All you have to do is show up to the 3,000 subscriber celebration stream that we will be doing the day of or the day after we hit 3,000 subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed if you want that chance at that $70 eShop gift card. Anyway, what do you guys think about all of this? Do you think that I'm just this crazy old man who has no idea what they're talking to and that Disney's dominance will never be dethroned? Or do you think Nintendo could have a shot at this? Let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, this has been Jeff from Nintendo Vault. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.